Once upon a time, there was a prince. He wanted a princess, but it had to be a, a real princess. So he traveled all over the world to find one. But everywhere he went, something was wrong. There were princesses enough, but were they real princesses? That was the problem. There was always something not quite right. So he came home again, feeling very sad. He would so much have liked to find a real princess. One night, there was a terrible storm. There was thunder and lightning, and rain came pouring down. It was quite dreadful. Someone was heard knocking on the city gate, and the old king went to open it. Outside stood a princess, but goodness what a sight she was from the rain and the cruel weather. Water was running from her hair and down her clothes. It ran in at the toes of her shoes and, at the, and out at the heels. And still she said she was a real princess. Well, we shall soon see about that, thought the old queen. She didn't say anything, but went to the bedroom, took all the bed clothes off, put a pea on the bottom of the bed, then went, she took twenty mattresses and put them on top of the pea, and then I put the twenty iron quilts on top of the mattresses. This was where the princess was to lie that night. In the morning, the extra as she slept. Oh, so dreadfully badly, said the princess. I hardly shut an eye the whole night long. Goodness knows what was... In that bed, I was lying on something so hard and black and blue all over. It was perfectly dreadful. Now they could see that she was a real princess, but she had felt the pee through twenty mattresses and and twenty iron quilts. Only a real princess could have such tender skin. The prince took her as his wife because he knew that he had a real princess, and the pee was put in the museum, where it's still to be seen if if nobody has taken it. Now, what do you think of that for a story? Let's break it down, shall we? Now, the prince wants to marry a real princess, but when he is, like, going all over the world to find one, he doesn't find one that's suitable for him. Now, now talk about a man with high standards. Then, the storm comes and it's raining and thundering and lightning and this princess who wants to stay in the castle for the night claims to be a real princess and now that gets me because who would believe that she's a real princess if she's like standing in the rain and she's soaked and and she she doesn't look presentable but the queen that does not believe her, so she sets her like on like twenty mattresses and like twenty feather beds, and she sleeps on that. Who would even sleep on that? Like that would be too high for me. Just I don't want to like heights, so that's what I put in. Now she says that she couldn't sleep because something. Like, was under the mattress to bother her, and before I continue, no one can do that. No one's skin is that fragile. Like, like I mean, you have to be like superhuman to to feel a, a small pee under 20 mattresses and 20 feather beds. But, uh, whatever. And then find out that she's a real princess because only princesses have have that sensitive skin that is stupid moving along the prince rejoices they marry and the, and the small piece put in a museum a museum why didn't why did throw it out like it's been under mattresses you, you, you really want to pee in a museum whatever 